Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. As you know, if you watched my previous Fish Room Update video, I went to the Minnesota Aquarium Society show over the weekend, and this was the first time that I've ever actually participated in the show. I brought Clyde. He is my male panda butterfly telescope goldfish. The reason I chose Clyde to bring to the show is because he, I feel, is a really good example of the butterfly telescope variety. He has very good confirmation in fins and body and eyes. And so I like him a lot and I also chose him to bring because he has very good deportment which means his swimming motion and balance in the water and that's usually a big concern for goldfish because they have such a modified body shape and fin shape that it's kind of hard to find that balance sometimes and I think that he strikes the balance really well. I was really nervous to be traveling with my fish because I've done it before and it always goes just fine but I don't know I just always get really nervous because they're so precious to me. I was nervous but really he was just fine. He did perfectly fine in the car ride there and back and he did fine in the show tank too. He was actually super super cute in the show tank. He, and I'll tell you why he did this, but if you didn't know why then it, you might just think he was being really friendly and cute, but the whole time he was in the show tank, he was right at the front of the glass, just like wiggling back and forth, trying to almost swim through the glass, and it looked really cute and like he was really personable. Here's why he was actually doing it, because he's used to being in a tub in my basement that has sides you can't see through, and so he doesn't know why he can't keep swimming, because he can see through the glass but there's a barrier and he doesn't understand it and so he just kept trying to swim through the glass and it wasn't working. I also brought a drawing that I made and I made it just for the show and I didn't have a lot of time in the weeks leading up to the show or in the months really and I kept putting it off because I didn't have the time and then in the first in the week leading up to the show I was just thinking you know I really gotta get this done and I ended up doing the whole drawing in just a few days right before the show so it was kind of a crazy time crunch there. In addition to that I also brought a photography print um, of a photo that I took of my fish named Minai. So we got to the show on Friday night and everybody was there setting up their tanks. The fish room was just a beehive of activity, people running to and fro with buckets of water. Some people even have big carts where they were pushing several buckets of water at a time to fill up all their tanks. And we chose a spot right next to this other goldfish to set up our tank and that goldfish was a little willow. Um, which is a single tail telescope. And I got Clyde all set up in his 10 gallon tank. Um, his show tank consisted of a 10 gallon tank that was painted on the back and bottom and then just a simple glass top and a simple one tube light fixture on top. To filter in the water and aerate it I used a sponge filter and the show provided air which was really nice so all you had to do is plug in and your filter was good to go. So that was what setup was like and then we left and it was really weird leaving my fish there all by himself and without me watching him every second but I had to leave him there and return the next day. Saturday when we got there the fish room was once again packed but this time it was with visitors. People visiting the show, checking out all the awesome fish that were there and there were a lot of awesome fish by the way. Tank after tank of really cool fish and really good examples of their species and or variety. There was even one tank, there were a few tanks actually that had the parent fish with their batch of fry right in the tank with them and of course as you guys know that would never work with goldfish because the goldfish would start just eating all the babies one by one until they're all gone so don't try that with goldfish but it was really cool to see with these other species of fish that actually do take care of their young. We hung out in the fish room on Saturday and checked out all the really awesome fish, talked to some cool fish people that we got to meet and I also signed up to be a member of the Minnesota Aquarium Society so in addition to the shows maybe I can start going to the meetings as well they're kind of a long drive for me but it might be worth going to because I had a really good time actually interacting in person with the fish keeping community which is something that I haven't really done in the past so I think it would be a good thing for me to continue because I really enjoyed it and then on Saturday night they had the awards ceremony and before the awards ceremony we walked in and everybody was playing bingo and then as we walked in somebody said oh here's another couple of people to, to play the bingo with us and they handed us some bingo cards and then the first round we played I actually won. I thought I was going to pick 
one prize from this pile of prizes that were on the table. So I said, oh, what do I get? And the guy just handed me a box and said, all of it. So I was sitting there just like scooping everything into the box. A lot of it is stuff that's not really geared towards goldfish, but I know some of you guys who, who watch my videos have other types of fish too. So I thought I'd kind of pay it forward and I'm going to be giving away those things that I got in the bingo game for you guys. So stay tuned on my Facebook page because I think they'll just be small here and there giveaways that I'll do on Facebook. And then the award ceremony finally started on Saturday night. When they got to the goldfish and koi category, the uh, results were there was an orange lion head that won third place, and then a koi that won first place, and then my very own Clyde won second place. Also, when they got to the end of the award ceremony, they announced the winners for the art category and I didn't even know they were going to be judging this category so I was surprised about that and then my clover drawing won first place in that category so I was surprised again by that. I got a plaque for the for both of those things as my award and here it is. The red one says second place goldfish and koi and the blue one says first place for fine artwork pretty exciting. This is um, my first fish show that I participated in and I won something so I was really excited about that. Definitely gonna hang this up probably in my fish room downstairs once I get it all set up the way I want and find a good wall to hang stuff up on. But there is more also. So they had a couple of categories for people's choice and that means anybody who visited the show could vote on their favorite fish and also on their favorite tank because there were some aquascape tanks in the show also. They announced the winners for that and Clyde actually won people's choice fish award and I got a plaque for that. Can you believe it? So it says people's choice favorite fish and that is all Clyde right there. I think that it's due in part to his cute, the cute way that he was swimming against the glass and everybody probably thought he was really silly and cute. So isn't that awesome guys? I'm really excited that the first show I went to I actually won something at. But now all the excitement is over and we are back home, back to business as usual and I actually set Clyde up back up in his show tank just because I'm going to quarantine him for a couple weeks probably to make sure he's doing all right after the show. He looks fine and everything but I just want to quarantine him for a couple weeks just in case kind of as a pre preventative because a lot of times when goldfish get stressed out um, and certainly being transported all over the place like that was stressful for him. A lot of times when goldfish get stressed out they can also get sick because their immune system is a little bit weakened. So I just want to make sure that he's doing all right. Also there was a lot of water being sloshed around and transferred from tank to tank at the show and all the fish looked healthy there don't get me wrong but some fish have immunity to things that other fish from a different tank don't have immunity to so that's just a precaution that I'm taking with him. Alright guys that's about all I have for you in this video. Thanks for your well wishes um, and all your good luck that you were giving me for the show and thanks for tuning in this week. Oh I also want to mention um, a big thank you to those of you who decided to donate in my tip jar button. I really appreciate it. You guys know who you are. You are helping to make solid gold possible because without all of you helping me out and supporting me in that way I wouldn't be able to keep doing this. Just to give a little explanation of the tip jar, it's something that I decided to do because I would really love to keep expanding this solid gold thing that I'm doing, providing more content for you guys to watch for free and in order to do that I just need to have a little bit more monetary support. This is like a full-time job for me, it really is. So I just made the tip jar button in case some of you want to maybe put a couple dollars in each time I make a video or something like that to help support me so that I can keep doing this. If you want to, awesome and thank you so much and if you don't want to that's still awesome and I'm gonna keep making videos for you anyway. So thanks so much for tuning in this week guys, I will see you in my next video and until then stay golden. A cute little willow butter, uh,